Welcome to Revlog, where Pastor Aaron is excited to be here. Always. And so thrilled. It's radiating off of him. Pastor Brian, just I feel like he came in with a full workload today. He did. Yeah, you, you carry in the heavy, the heavy load of church work this week. The, the burden, I, I've laid it down. It's off camera. You can't see it, <laughs> but it's heavy. But we're glad you made time for us. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, it's good when you fit us in your schedule. <laughs> yeah. You were 10 minutes late, but, but we're... We're grateful for you. This, this work is a heavy burden. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron knows that, and and yet he jabbed. <laughs> <laughs> so this week, uh, I, I feel like this is a unique text mm-hmm. in, in a couple of ways. Um, there is war against fleshly lusts. Um, there's submission to authority, those kinds of things here. So there's, there's a couple of, of ways we can go. Um, but Brian, as you were reading this text, uh, I mean, what grabbed your attention? Where did where did you go as you were working through this? Peter is writing in a time in which it's the question is, what is this sect? What is this this way? And is it good for the world? Yeah. Is it good for life on earth? Is it good for society? Mm-hmm. Or is it Trying to rip asunder everything uh, that we that we know, mm-hmm. and uh, I think Peter says we're not trying to rip anything apart. We're trying to remake people from the inside out, and um, anything that you do that is disruptive is going to get is going to upstage uh, all of the trust and the good work that we're trying to do. Mm-hmm. I I like that. I'm sorry, Pastor. No, you're I good. like that. Because we always, we often assume a 21st century mentality when reading scripture, that that the establishment of Christianity, the institution itself has always been. And Peter is is writing, you know, saying, you know, this is how we fit into the the established government or the established, and so as we do that, as we create this new way the way yeah that this we this is how we relate to these things that already are and so for it's good to keep that in mind as we look back and read I, on I, that i think so yeah the I trade so and, and i do like where you're going to picture or, or place christianity in in a light in in its mending ways that that christianity um, and Jesus Christ at his work is, is a work of restoration and mending and healing. Yes. Um, rather than something that, that rips apart. Mm, yeah. Um, now, 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 some people still could be struck by the mending, um, but that's what Christianity is at its heart. It's, it's restorative. It is. You can't say anything better than that. I mean, it is restorative. It's not out to raise everything to the ground and right. we have to be very very cautious about the the messages that we send along those yeah. lines i think sometimes people do get conflicted because it does raise sin to the ground and sometimes we cling to those sins that christianity is raising right and that, that's that's right. a struggle for people that, that's exactly right yes but even in that it's restored yes right it's it's the power of of grace in that so aaron as you were reading what struck you so particularly about the things that matter to me mm-hmm. but i think in general i've got a pretty strong sense of justice of you know this is right mm-hmm. and and i in my interactions i, I often I, I want to value the person but i want you to know that i'm right mm-hmm. and i i think Peter's really cautioning against some of that, that you can be right and loving at the same time. Mm-hmm. And, and I, yes. I don't always carry that forward because I just yes. want you to know that, that here's why I believe this. And, and it, it comes off as, as divisive. Mm-hmm. And, and Peter's saying, you know, we've got to love people and, and we want you to be right. The way is right. This is right and good. Mm-hmm. We know that. The, but how, how does that fit into to this when you would you submit to others when governments or authorities that um, that's going to your love for them is going to speak much more than your your sense of rightness mm-hmm. and and that mm-hmm. if you predicate things on love the right things will follow if you predicate things on just being right th- that it's it, that's what people are going to see rather he just wants to be right and he's not loving at the risk of using a, a overusing a word 
right on. I mean, really. <laughs> yeah. That's you love love is the is the foundation here. I mean, it it's not it's not rabble rousing. That it, because that is that's temporary, that is sort of ephemeral. It it you know comes and goes. And I uh, think but, Peter's also allowing institutions, governments to to go about their function of, of in society and culture that they that is needed to 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 care and to do um, a lot for and and he's saying put those in their place mm-hmm. allow them to be use them for what they are submit where we need to submit um, and then in that structure lovingly enter and then establish who we are as believers yeah and i think that's a good way to frame it and and i think that's how peter's been framing a lot of this conversation throughout the letter is the the temporal versus the eternal right and the temporal things have their place right and are necessary in their time, but it's important to to view them uh, in in light of eternity. And, and what I mean by that is, we can submit to these temporal e- institutions, even ones that we uh, disagree with, because we know there is something greater, and the kingdom of God uh, stands above it and and beyond it. Yes, and by extension, then all things will be brought to rights at Correct. some point. And if we really believe that then we are going to be humble enough to let God do that and mm-hmm. trust that he will. That it's not necessarily yeah. up to us right. to... to Correct. Right. I mean, yeah. we, we have a role. We have our assignment. We need yes, to be we diligent and, yes, un, um, and unashamed of the gospel. That, yes. that, that, that is clear. But um, I, I think it's also important to, to realize that when we comport ourselves in a... In a as we use the word love a lot, but but that in a, in a, a manner that is... Um, congenial, that mm-hmm. is um, uh, respectful of others. That, that's right. another that's, way to yeah, right. respectful of others. Yes, that they have no room for attack. I mean, there's there's another way to think of it. When when we have the bigger picture in mind, and we right. see some things that need to be corrected, if we comport ourselves in a way that respects others, that they can't come back and go, yeah, he, he's just a jerk. Right. And, exactly, and I right. don't want to listen to him anyway. And right. exactly, and Peter's saying we have to be cautious on all all fronts of how we deal with people. Yeah, Amen. That's right. We we must manage conflict in good faith, and there is room for and and actually a mandate that we have to press against injustice. Right, absolutely, where we see it, but but it can't be. We we don't have a mandate to press against that which is endangering our favorite hobby horse, you know, uh, politically or whatever, yeah. you know, but, but injustice is another matter. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Brian, as you came to this text, what question did you have? How can I follow Jesus's, uh, Jesus's, um, admonition to render unto Caesar mm-hmm. and to render unto God? Uh, I, that, how do I do that? Mm-hmm. That's my question. Mm. Yeah, that's good. You want to give him an answer? Or you... Aaron, <laughs> off camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about for you, Aaron? What what question came to mind for you as you read well, this? Well, I, I guess the open-ended one is, is what safeguards can I put, can we put um, as believers in society that will guard our hearts from lashing out um, against uh, perceived injustice and yeah. and and approach it in a in a way that Peter would go that's that's what I'm talking about or that Jesus would say this this is exactly how you confront it um, because my own natural reaction is just to say that's wrong mm-hmm. you're wrong mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I may be right and dead wrong at the same time mm-hmm. and that that's where I feel like that I need the 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 most challenge in my heart to yeah. say where where are the the safeguards that I can put to to recognize injustice or things that are wrong and still do it in a way that Jesus would say, that's, that's the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I've, I've seen that myself too. And, and I think we've seen that in Christian history as well. There have been times when Christians have been bullies mm-hmm. and though they were right, were, were bullies in how they went about um, mm-hmm. sharing those. I mean, things does that set them. us up to be, to be, Pushovers to be to no, be right. uh, wet blankets or, or wallflowers. Only if Jesus was. I mean, you know, Jesus. He he said uh, when when it 
said they said they said uh, Herod, you know, is looking for you or wants to, you know, uh, have an audience with you or whatever. You said you you go tell that fox, mm-hmm. you know, and and it wasn't. I don't think Jesus was speaking pejoratively. He was saying this this guy is a survivor, but I I know what he is. He's a he's a politician, and he's kind of been able to ride the current of of uh, favor of this party or that. And Jesus saw what was going on. He didn't see politics as the end all. He saw somebody who was in power as somebody who knew how to ride the crest of of uh, you know the human population. And uh, you know Herod may have thought that as a compliment. You know if if uh, if he had heard Jesus say that, but the the point is that Jesus knew all men, and yeah. and we can too in learning from Jesus how to do this. We can go, you know, you're a politician. I get it. Um, here's here's where I think this is wrong or unjust. Yeah. You know, wow. and I don't think that's a doormat. Well, and I I I do think it's important to to call that out simply because. Those of us, the, the whole Christian bully thing, or, or even if we don't label ourselves that, right. we can. It, it's easy to see how we we feel like we're doing the right thing, mm-hmm. and we feel if we if we give up that hard nosed pressure, that we become this this ineffectual right. um, witness. And, and it's I, not necessarily one or the other. It's not either or. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Now we would love to hear your thoughts on this same conversation. If you would comment below. 